Oh, shooting at the game, Ray. Some spicy water. It is. Why is that over frozen? I was going to say, was it frozen? Maybe. You better start drinking. Why are you just watching it spill? Drink it, girl. I've never seen that. It's hot. I bet it's frozen a little bit in there and it kind of pushed it up. Mm. Um, it is humid. Um, it rained yesterday a lot and, uh, you guys saw the, uh, video and, uh, um, it kind of put us behind a little bit on what we're trying to do. A little bit of a blessing in disguise, I guess, because I was planning on putting that sealer down and start actually building the floor. Mm -hmm. And then uh, went and looked at all y'all's comments and everything. Uh, you guys saw the last coffee crackers. I was in my truck. And uh, literally, not long after that, it just like started pouring. And I never would have guessed it was going to rain like that. Yeah. I had looked and I saw that it was like a small percentage. And I guess it went way up. Um, or I looked at the wrong area or something. Because, I mean, it just downpoured. Um, but, uh, because of that, we have been able to, I mean, we've been racking our brains on what to do on the inside, yeah. what type of, do we put like a membrane down and then do it? Do we try to put some styrofoam underneath? Do we, uh, try to just seal the whole deck? Do we paint the deck? Do we yeah. stain the deck? Do it's we... It's like with every idea that you have to fix one thing, but then it's like, well, then what about... There's pros and cons of, yeah, of all of anything it. Anything you do, and then... Oh, it's so hot. My head's Then you need out. a solution for that solution, and then... It's been a lot. And then, what can you actually find that you need? Uh, do they have the right materials? Um, you guys will see uh, later on the Crocker Life, uh, we have some more decisions uh, we're trying to figure out. Uh, we're kind of at that point where there's so much to do. Where do you start? Yeah. Um, but you also can't just like focus on one thing, um, because we got to work on the inside and outside of the grain bin. On top of that, we also have everything else. We're trying to take care of the animals and fencing and just cleaning up and keeping up with maintaining. Cause it's, when it does rain, then everything, all the shrubs just yeah. whoo, straight up. And, um, uh, well, we got to finish the fencing up in the front so the dogs don't try to get out. Yeah. And speaking with the rain, I don't. Did you ever say the blessing part of it? Is able to see where water comes in. In the video. Oh. And then also, it made a difference in the pond. Too. Yeah. So. Not crazy amount, but you guys could see in the Crocker life. Mm -hmm. um, it. We do know it's going to be a struggle keeping that pond. Uh, full. Just um, in this heat. But also just trying to remember to run the generator we have been doing better um since we've been back from florida but uh it's more of once we get it actually hooked up to real power oh it's on you just put a timer on the waterer and then just all the time just yeah. at night just run it at night mm -hmm. uh we won't you know won't even remember it's even going wake up it'll keep it going um it's a lot not that it really matters it's way down the ground mm -hmm. but it's a lot cooler at night so then all the water that's it's not we're not worried about the pump or anything it's more of you don't want it to be super hot you're just pumping water out even though it's not going to evaporate instantly at least at night it gives it time to really soak into the ground as it's coming up and do its thing and um i don't know there's a lot going on with all of that um it's i don't know i'm excited for it i really am i'm excited to build i'm not dreading building any of it yeah. when normally i'd be like oh man we got to build walls again we gotta do this because it's all something new and it is exciting the heat i'm not excited about yeah and and it's actually better right now than it has been oh yeah and there's but it's about to kick back up again zero airflow uh, in that yeah. grain bin zero yeah. so we got to figure out some fans or whatever i wanted to cut it open but now i'm like all right do we wait till we frame the inside can we physically wait that mm -hmm. long um, since it is going to be so hot in there? Uh, I don't want to cut too big for the door, but if we cut a small hole, will it even be enough to let air in? Um, I don't know. It, it's 
the off chance, I don't think it is an issue, but the off chance that some of y'all are correct saying it might, uh, the structure might be weakened and it fall, I don't think it will, um, just because we all literally watched it get picked up piece by piece and it was flimsy and it kind of was fine. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it might implode or whatever if there's like, if it's full of grain or full of something, mm -hmm. maybe too much weight pushed against it and then that happens and it's kind of like a, a can and you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, well, then grain bins have been cut into before. Yeah. Though like other bins that have been turned into houses so but did they already weld up structure did they already frame the inside did, i mean i don't know i think it'd be fine because yeah. you're not cutting a massive hole in it yeah um but uh i don't know we're kind of at that point where we know what we need to do just what order should we do it and then when you're waiting on certain things to come in, you got to jump ahead and do some other stuff. Mm -hmm. What's the best route? Um, we also don't want to jump the gun on anything. And so um, we really try to um, take y'all's advice. Uh, some of it, you can tell y'all don't know what you're talking about. Um, that's not a bad thing. You're just trying your best to give advice. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, some people... <laughs> Some people think they know what they're talking about and give advice, and I'm like, that sounds dumb. Um, but then some people give really good advice, but it's stuff that we can't do. And then some people give good advice, and we take the advice. Some advice we take, but we tweak it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you guys will be seeing in our videos that we'll be doing inside that will be a lot of advice y'all gave. But, um, like, someone gave good advice of... I forgot what this stuff's called, um, like dry cool or something. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a styrofoam pad. But on the bottom, it's got like little uh, circles. So um, it gives spacing on the bottom for airflow. Mm -hmm. And it's meant to go underneath your flooring when you're putting like vinyl plank flooring down or whatever. And it keeps it from moisture. And, you know, if water gets in there, it has a gap to dry up mm -hmm. um you know some people said put that underneath which i do think is a great thing once we do our flooring but to build the floating subfloor um i don't know if it would hold the weight mm -hmm. of doing the whole subfloor and then our flooring and then walls on top of that and, and the then, bubbles will just yeah i don't know i i would I don't know, and I don't think I want to take the risk of doing all that. Then it fails, and then what? You got to yeah. take it all up. So we've talked and talked and talked, and we think we found a good option. Yeah. Um, everything we do, this is kind of like uh, I tell Danielle uh, about our relationship. I uh, will never purposely do something to fail. It fail. may fail. It may be wrong. It oh, yeah. may. Well, I think that's what we tell each other is like if i say something i'm not trying to hurt your feelings yeah just, that's not my intention it may hurt your feelings <laughs> um but it also may like you know if, if danielle's like all right i trust you on this venture that we're about to do of building this or doing this or whatever and if it doesn't work it's like i didn't intentionally yeah fail you on purpose i tried like, my best gave it everything we got yeah so there's things that we will do on the inside that may fail uh, just like anything we do here, there's been certain things with fencing that has not done the way we wanted or building certain things or uh, whatever it may be. And it feels... Not for lack of trying. Yeah. And good intentions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is basically what we're saying. We were literally just talking. Um, we were over by the pond and... Um, like, we still have all these shrubs and, and stuff. And it's like... You pay all this money to clear the land, but it just keeps coming back and keeps coming back. Yeah. Keeps, how do you keep it from coming back? Um, I know you can spray stuff, but will it be okay if it if the goats eats it, um, you know, get out yeah. and eat it, or if the chickens get out and eat and it, or if the also, dogs eat it? The the amount of widespread um, stuff we would have to spray is like we would have to like just put it in a big old sprayer and do our whole property. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't know the best thing to do. Uh, clearly we've already, um, 
cleared everything like is the best point at this time now that we've already got everything cleared hire someone with the dozer to come through that knows what they're doing and just take the top six inches of our ground out and just clean it up and we basically just start with dirt again because really other than what was up in the front we have no grass yeah. there's i mean there's grass here and there but if we did have to come through with the dozer are we really stepping back at all or are we kind of moving forward because we're getting rid of it I'm getting rid of those dang things that yeah. keep coming up and the main thing i know people are probably like you should have just got a dozer in the first place we didn't want piles and piles and piles of trees oh, yeah um when you clear a land with a dozer it is not like when we hired Outlaw. Outlaw put it to the ground. Yeah. And I mean, it just eats it. It became mulch. Yeah. Uh, bulldozer will just make massive piles. Um, so. It'd be a mountain of trees out here. Yeah. So at this point, if they came out, you know, I don't know what it would do if it'd even worked our time. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to try to figure that out, contact them with the dozer and get their best uh, advice. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. We're just kind of at the point where we know it needs to get done. It's just how are we going to get it done and which order. Um, mm -hmm. And then on top of that, um, if it's working outside, how long can we be outside at a time without with literally um, looking out for our health? Um, some of these days, I mean, it is brutal. Yeah. It is brutal, brutal. So. It just and even today, and today is a nice day. Yeah, it's not near as bad. It's I can tell you right now, it's eighty-five. Lambo's picking up that dang tree over there with his horns. Dang, what was a good Lambo out here? Yeah, look at oh, him. Oh, what is he doing? I think he was scratching his head on that log and picked the whole log up. <laughs> and then he got excited. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, and even today, it's not near as bad, but it's just. You just sit down and you're like, I have... It's so humid. Yeah. Like, my tank is very empty right now. Yeah. It just, it sucks out all of your energy. It's crazy. Anyone that lives down in the South fully understands. Oh. Um, and if you don't understand and live in the South, go outside. You just don't go outside enough. Especially work. And then when you're physically working and it's taking everything out of you... Um, I'll just say take that into consideration if you watch any YouTube channels mm -hmm. that are out working in this heat and they may not be fully doing as much as you would hope they would. It's I, I was in the grain bin for 20 minutes earlier yeah. working on some uh, sealant stuff and I came out drenched. Yeah. I, I was mean, just, drenched. Yeah, I was in there putting some stuff in there not near as long and just felt like I was being squeegeed. Yeah. What was that noise? The door. Oh. You never know what any noises are. And I'm always, I can tell you whatever and you believe it. <laughs> I normally can figure out what it is. But, well, what's that? But I can tell you. <laughs> it's just those Oklahoma crickets. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> um, but I don't know. We're kind of at that point trying to figure it out. And we talked again. We had some time. We had to go get materials and whatnot. And um, we have a lot. But the good thing is, we're not in a rush. We don't have a deadline. Yeah. Uh, we have a timeline we would love to get stuff done by. Yeah. But we're not on a deadline. And I think that's like a main thing of like keeping stress um, out of our lives as much as possible is we don't have um, uh, anything that could like, um, I I don't know, I guess make us stressed. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you're stressed because you kind of want to be stressed. Uh, no one wants to be stressed. Mm -hmm. You're just allowing it. Yeah. Um, but we have the meetup coming up in two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, after that, uh, we go to Colorado. Uh, after that, uh, I'm not really sure what we have planned. Yeah. Um, we do have another uh, grain bin we want to go look at. Yeah. But even that, it's pretty close, but it's, it's also... about five-hour drive. Yeah. Not bad. Not, not too bad. But then it's also trying to figure out, okay with my schedule at the hospital and then also schedule here and then, and, the, then and then things we have going on yeah so it is still kind of difficult to figure out like we do i would like to go to the other grain bin before we really and we got to go fairly quick 
before so, we start jumping too far into the build. Yeah, I was looking at the calendar today. I was like, I don't even know. Yeah, we'll be able to do that. But the main we're thing, do it. the main reason we want to go to the other green bin is to really focus on the stairs. And yeah. we think it's hard to tell. We think that one might actually be the exact size yeah. as this. And we went to the other Airbnb, but it was actually bigger. Um, but we want to be able to, this one that we're looking at has a half loft and everything. Mm -hmm. We want to measure how high the loft is, um, how far the stairs come out. Hey, what is that? Did anyone just break a tree? They kind of, they, they looked that way. So maybe a tree branch fell at the neighbors or mm -hmm. something. But um, there's a lot that we want to do with that. So we're just trying to fit it all in. And then um, also, you know, there's certain people out there that don't like to hear this and stuff. But um, we are newlyweds. Mm -hmm. We want to have a fun first year of marriage. We, we just hit a, a week, um, yeah. technically a week in like. We're on a week and two days now yeah. or something. Ma, Ma, this marriage is going strong. Yeah, Ma hit us with a happy one week. Yeah, and I was like, holy crap, it has been a week. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Uh, but we want to have fun and we want to enjoy the first year of marriage. And even though we have the rest of our lives, it would just be fun to look back. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, especially if we can have kids or anything, this could be the last year we have just as us. being just us. So we want to have fun and we want to be able to travel and do things. And, you know, that takes time away from being here. And um, even it's, we're not even saying big, long trips or anything, but. We even, really can't. Yeah, we can't really. go on like crazy long trips yeah. or anything, but. It would be nice, but. Yeah, but, you know, even going to the lake for the day or driving, you know, five hours somewhere and, and camping for the weekend or. You know, whatever, we want to be able to enjoy that. And honestly, I think that's a massive reason why right now um, I am looking forward to building. I am. I'm not stressed about anything because we have the meetup literally in like two weeks. That came up quick. Yeah. And then right after that, you know, we're going to Colorado, like I said. And um, we have stuff planned that we want to do. And um, it really does make it where it's like, all right, we can get through this. We can get through this step. What is that? I don't know. If chicken in the barn oh that's what it sounded like right it sound like? oh a bird in the tree there's some weird noises today hold on you guys hear that it's definitely a yeah. oh maybe a buzzard i just saw oh it might be i guess i've never heard a buzzard it sounds like a cat mixed with a bird. You guys hear that? I saw something black. Ooh, I just saw again. There we go. Oh, it's a big old blackbird. Now it's over there. So if we hear it over there, did you see it in the tree? Yeah. Interesting. Oop, oop, oop. It, I think it's that blackbird. Yeah. Just a big old crow. Dang. Um,. We don't really have a bunch of crows around here, huh? Mm-mm. Um, That's weird. I've never heard a bird make that noise before. It almost sounded like a cat. Yeah. Y'all had to have heard that yeah. on there. Um, but I don't know. We just want to have fun, and we want to enjoy life and In still get stuff done. And First year being married. Yeah. Um, we are newlyweds. We're trying to enjoy that time. Yeah. And then even like when we... It was that bird. Yeah. When we first got back, it was, wasn't... I don't know. We just didn't really talk to a lot of people either it was just kind of like huh? we spent our time together when we came back yeah from um, from florida yeah who who the hell were we gonna talk to <laughs> we don't talk to anyone on a normal basis what are you talking about <laughs> i just meant like we're just trying to have our our time together well, yeah. um but i think what's kind of cool too is um it kind of rejuvenated our uh our relationship i guess um like coming back, like it ain't no different. We woke up this morning; it still feels like every other day we had together, um, and all yeah. that. But also, it is more of like the like 
you had the little lovey eyes and you have the it's the honeymoon stage of it yeah. and technically we haven't even gone on our honeymoon yeah and florida was not our honeymoon yeah. that was just celebrating uh the marriage but um yeah. we gotta figure out like a really cool trip to say that's our honeymoon and um i don't know it's stuff like that that um i think it does add to the like we don't have the stress we don't have that type of um weight on our shoulders to do everything because it's it is just a fun time um yeah. i mean y'all could just read it on my face right now uh it's so hot um it it is a fun time to uh um to just fully enjoy and um you know i think that's why uh people probably like to celebrate you know their anniversaries or it's like um you know, five years, 10 years, like, mm -hmm. it's like, holy cow, then, like, for a moment, you get to, like, remember how, like, the, the excitement, this, this, that, the spiciness of yeah. it, you know, and getting married really did, without even, like, saying anything to each other or whatever, like, it just felt like, um, I don't know, we just, uh, um, I guess just showed it, I guess, mm -hmm. um, you know, that little fun and flirty and, and stuff like that. We were able to kind of put away everything else and focus on that again. Yeah, I think, and, well, the big thing was getting away. Like, oh, yeah. to do the elopement, if you want to call it that, to get away and it just be, like, that special, that one moment just be us. And then, like, it's just about us. In that, yeah. that's it. Nothing else. I think that's what, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the last time we actually got away. Oh. did something it'd been a minute since we did anything yeah. and i think that's kind of the uh the burnout of it and i mean it's common sense you can't just work 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 yeah. um but that's like a big thing i think we've learned is you got to take time to yourself even if it is little things here and there mm -hmm. little be uh selfish oh yeah you have to be selfish to, to stay happy you got to be selfish yeah. and i think um it's you know where we're at yeah some people would say I've always been selfish or a narcissist or whatever, but that's what's kind of crazy to me. Like I just, I just like giggle when, when stuff like because like all I do is think about Others. other people, and um, it may not come across that way, but um, pretty much everything. Um, that's just my way of thinking, I guess. And um, we, I, I just told Danielle, I said, this is just our time to be selfish, and whether it rubs people the wrong way or whatever this yeah. is our time and um and i'm okay with it yeah and at the end of the day it's like who do we we're this is it this is our team this is our yeah. daily life this is everything right here so as long as we're happy and we're focusing on ourselves and putting ourselves first then we're yeah. we're we're right where we need to be and if other people are upset about it or um youtube y'all don't like that we're not posting enough videos we're not putting out enough work we're not whatever we're not here for you guys um we're here for um posting videos and stuff yeah. one clearly it's a job uh two for all you guys that literally just say post whatever we just like keeping up with you guys and um it's that's a big a big thing i guess this first year of marriage that I want to focus on is positive stuff yeah. and it's not the negative stuff. And yeah. that's as far as get that negative corn out of my face. Yeah. You know um, what I'm saying? That's as far as, uh, YouTube comments, people telling us stuff, um, our own personal lives, yeah. uh, stress. And it's, it's almost cheesy, but it's almost like every day you need to kind of wake up and, and be like, you know, yesterday, uh, I was thankful for this, this, and this instead of, being, you know what, today we're going to talk about people that were talking trash, or I'm going to worry about what someone told me yesterday, or I'm going to worry about someone's opinion, or whatever. Truly, you should wake up and be grateful for what happened yesterday and look mm -hmm. forward to something today. Yeah. And it's way easier said than done. Mm -hmm. But if you can try to get into the practice of it and do it, I really think it'll be better yeah. um, all for everybody. And I don't know, I'm... Uh, I'm worn out right now and I'm exhausted, but um, I am very, very excited uh, to be married. It almost still doesn't even seem real. It's, 
And we've been like, it seems like we've been married for yeah. so long already. I think that's the But thing. it's le- it's legally real. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like legit. Like it's great. It it part of it just doesn't seem real. Yeah. Um uh but uh I um, think even for the longest time, like you're my wife. Like you would I mean, say yeah. that and it's just I'd be like, We ain't legally married, but you're my wife. Yeah. Um so I don't know. I think that's a big factor of like why it doesn't really seem real because or almost because again it's really not much different. Yeah. I think the big thing that again was to be able to get away well, almost. I, and it's just like we were just surrounded by love and that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. And and I do think it'll seem real or like have that like is when we do a honeymoon. Because it'll just be us going on a trip. We'll just have complete downtime. Mm-hmm. Not that we didn't have any of that before, yeah. but it will be just like a, um, like a, I don't know. How how else could you not when you're in Bora Bora? I already booked the tickets, baby. Oh. It was a dream, but I booked them. <laughs> uh, we'll have to sell my truck and the old four runner. <laughs> Um, no, we ain't selling. Yeah, but um, I do think when we do a honeymoon, it'll like at that point. I think it'll feel like um, like a full blown like mm-hmm. holy crap, we are married. Yeah. Because at that point, we're like, I don't know. We'd have worked so hard up to the point of leaving for Florida, mm-hmm. then we got out there. Clearly, it was fun and all that, but it was still kind of awkward for us. To, to go do our vows in front of each other and Mm -hmm. do all that stuff. And then it still is kind of like, not that it was like everywhere we went, it wasn't like, hey, they're married. You know, it wasn't anything like that, but it was still, um, you know, I don't know. There was little, like if we went to Frenchies, like clearly we had the shirt on, people knew the hats and all that. But if we go somewhere, um, it'll literally just be like focused you and I. Mm-hmm. That's it, and um, uh, it'll be for sure some type of destination, all inclusive uh, place. And um, so basically, but that's are going to be our mindset this year, though. Just you and I. Yeah. Just we're going to be selfish. Yeah, and uh, I think it's what you need to do. I, I was looking at. Uh, pickles and I hope her head's not stuck. No, she good. Yeah. She got her head stuck the other day. Did we film that? No. Oh, um, she got her head stuck in the hay ring, which she got it out. I didn't even have to do anything to get it out for her. She just couldn't figure it out. I, I think it's kind of like a goat putting their head in the fence. Yeah. And then finally they figure it out. But um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm excited to where where we're at. I'm excited to be working. Uh, not excited for the heat, um, but I do feel like we're in a really, really good place, and uh, I'm very, very thankful for that, and very thankful we're on the same page when it comes to everything. Um, it makes life a lot easier whenever uh, um, mm-hmm. we're going through the same thing at the same time, Which, Yes, <laughs> and it's easy to help each other get through because we're both going through it at the same time. Yeah. So whenever there's something that may upset you, I could give you my advice. When it's upset me, you give me your advice because we both know how it feels. Yeah. Um, and not even just like, not like if you're upset or anything yeah, or whatever. It's not like but, advice like do this. It's just like, hey, chin up. Yeah. Or it's yeah. like, hey, remember when you told me this? Yeah. Same thing. Well, yeah. I guess you're right. You yeah. know, um, it just, it's, it's nice to go through life with someone that gets it and understands. And we, we literally 100% um go through everything together at this point we're with each other non-stop mm-hmm. uh we build together we do everything together except the very few days you're working at the hospital yeah so um feel very very fortunate to be in this position so well yeah um i ain't got nothing else to say yeah i don't think we i feel like we covered it kind of we're talking about ben and then we talking about marriage you know? Yeah, we've been talking about it. <laughs> what the heck? All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. And uh should be a Crocker Life video coming out later today. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, and then I got to leave 
to work again. Yeah. Unfortunately. So it's just the way it, the cookie crumbled this week. Yeah. So um, we'll uh, get it done. But uh, please, please, please watch the Crocker Life video again. We need more advice, and we need it quickly. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a lot of these videos coming up is, like, I need your uh, advice, I need your advice. Yeah. And uh, that is the beauty of Coffee Crockers, and we could talk and talk and talk and get y'all's advice. Mm -hmm. So we do read the comments, and we do uh, take into consideration what everyone says. So it uh, truly helps. If you don't comment, feel free to comment. We do read them, even if yeah. we're not hearting them. But we'll catch you guys in the next one.